Let me duplicate this report again. Not again, but duplicate it. I'm going to remove the filters, filter out, filter out. So I'm back to the whole history. I'm no longer filtering my query, just as I had initially. But now I want to filter by what is called relative periods, which is very popular. So I'm going to drag and drop again invoice date into my filter shelf. Now, instead of using the peel here, I'm going to go to the filter on the right, click the arrow pointing down here, and choose relative date. What happens is now this report is using, using relative periods. What is that? It's a, it's, a field, it's a date filter looking at today's date. So if I expand by clicking the arrow point down again, I have different time buckets. I'm going to choose years. And by default, it will show this year, whatever the year is. So if you look, all 2017 data is here. If you look at this quarter, which we're currently in the third quarter, I'm going to click quarters, and it's going to show this quarter. And there it is, the third quarter of 2017. If you choose month, guess what? We're in September. It will show September. What if you want to see the previous month? What if you want to see the last, you know, three months, two months, whatever month, whatever months you want? Relative dates are very popular, is one of the most used date filterings in this framework. So be sure to understand how this works. I'm just gonna show quickly again, I'm gonna remove it. I'm gonna add it back in the invoice date into my filters. I go to the right, arrow pointing down, choose relative, click and then select what time bucket and select the options within the time bucket and off you go. This report now will always show sales this year, regardless of what year you are in. Or let's say, uh, let me go back to this quarter just to make it a smaller report. So this report will always show this quarter. So I'm gonna say sales by customer this quarter. That's it. Now we're going to sh what I'm going to talk about next is um, let me take uh, the original report and duplicate it, and I'm going to drag it to the far right. Let's see. Actually, I can drag it. All right. And in this report, what I want to do is a year-to-date analysis. Let's say I want to see sales through August for the last three years. How can I do that? I'm going to show you a couple of ways. One is I'm going to add uh, invoice date, and then I'm going to choose month, and I'm going to remove the last four months. So what I have here is for all my, and I'm going to collapse the year. I'm going to remove the, you know, well, by the way, if I show uh, 2016, it goes through uh, August, and then it starts 2017, and then it goes through August, and then it starts 2018. So I'm filtering data to only show data through August. Now, if I collapse at the year level, what happens is this report is showing me by customer, by year, sales accumulated per year through August. So there's one way to do a year-to-date analysis is using a combination of, of, of filters and, and collapsing uh, things to a level where if you look side by side, right now we're filtering through August. Or maybe if I want to filter through June, let's say you just uncheck those boxes and now I'm filtering on a year-to-date through June the last, you know, these this three years. 